There is this Kutub Minar and in there you find this iron pillar, Delhi iron pillar, which is so famous. It is considered an emblem of Indian metallurgical pride and heritage. And the inscription in Sanskrit is the oldest Sanskrit inscription in Brahmi script. It regards the pillar was set up by King Chandra. You must read that. Uh, very interesting. But look at this. Probably it was made like this. This is how it is. That it was connected sideways. You can see that. Look at the top. I'm going to read from the text here. I truly cannot understand. But I'm going to read a little dimension of Delhi iron pillar. The relative dimension of the iron pillar shows that the original burial of the pillar was planned in a way so that one fourth of it was under the ground and, the th and three fourths was kept above. So that is why the necessary stability. And the ancient India used a standard length unit for more than 2000 years, it shows. The pillar is a rustless, rustless wonder. So it has not rusted in the last 1600 years. And Professor R. Bala Subramaniam, a metallurgist of IIT Kanpur, said that the resistance of corrosion is due to a protective oxide film on the surface of the pillar, perhaps. So you just saw the decorative top of the iron pillar known as Bell Capital is a wonderfully engineered structure. This consists of seven distinct parts. So you can see these parts here, which I just showed you. This is how probably it was fixed. You can see the hollow cylinder, insert, insert. It's shrink fitting, they say, of individual sections of the capital around a hollow cylindrical iron pipe. This is how perhaps it was made. A 24 feet tall pillar of wrought iron, of which bottom three feet are buried under the ground is testimony to the high level of skill achieved by the ancient Indian iron smiths in extraction and processing of iron. The pillar was fabricated by forge welding large pieces of wrought iron, where pieces of iron are heated to a high temperature to soften them and are then fused together by applying great force to hammering. That is why its composition is not uniform throughout and it contains microscopic slags in its grains. It was forge welded in horizontal condition and then this 6500 kg pillar was erected in its vertical condition. In itself it says about the engineering prowess of ancient Indians. Look at that. Must go to Kutub Minar and you can see this wonder out there. Of course now you're not allowed to touch it but at least you are armed with so much knowledge here at the Science Center, Science Center New Delhi. So this is how it looks. The entire explanation of it all at the Science Center.